Hello everyone, welcome back to Laser Monkey, and today I'll be breaking down Sean Patrick Villanueva's 5.98 Asian record average. He's the third person ever to get a sub-6 average in competition, and the first to do it with Rue. The Revolution is here, everyone. Let's take a look at these extremely efficient solves by Rue Master, Sean Patrick Villanueva. For the first solve, Sean did the orange-white block, so he has his pieces here and here. So what he's going to do is he's going to solve the orange-green in the back here by moving it like this. And then he's got these two in the front to finish the first block. And while he's doing this, he is aware of the second block edge, which is the red-white edge. It's over here. So he's going to solve these and then move the red-white edge into place for the second block. Next, he's got these two. He's going to solve those right in the front, and then the last pair right in the back to finish off the second block. Now he's going to do CMLL. And then, since his edges are already oriented, pretty lucky, he's going to solve his UR and UL edges, which are the orange, yellow, and red orange. So he's first going to set up the orange yellow back here. And then what he should have done is a U to, you know, solve the U, R, and U, L edges. But instead he did a U prime, which set these up in the opposite position they should be. And luckily it wasn't too bad because he ended up getting a case like this, which can be solved pretty quickly if you know the H perm. Uh, but that was definitely a mistake. For the second solve, Sean does the red-white block, so you can see his edge is here, his first pair is here, and his second pair is here. So he first solved this pair right in the front pretty easily, and then to solve this edge in here, he does a nice little finger trick where he moves these two layers at once, which also, which in addition to moving this block out of the way, sets up this edge to be inserted into the back. And then he can move everything back, and it gives him a nice uh, first block solution there. Next, he's going to solve his edge for second block, the yellow-white. And then he gets a pretty nice case where he's got these two and these two. Both one move away from being solved pairs. So he does the one in the back first, and then the one in the front. Pretty elegant solution, very fast. Now he's got uh, CMLL. And here he orients his edges by creating the arrow. And then here he's going to solve UR and UL. Oh. And then he's going to finish off the solve. For this third solve, Sean does the red-white block. So he's got these two and these two. And he's going to solve this edge while pairing up these two. So the way he does that is he first moves this block out of the way and moves this edge into place, pairs up this pair while inserting that edge, brings it all back, and then inserts this to form the first block. Next, he's going to solve his first, his second block with this white and orange. And this is going to be his next pair. So when he's inserting this edge for the second block, he's going to do a U2 to set these two up nicely. And now he's going to solve these two. Now he's got a CMLL case. And now he's going to do EO. He's got four bad edges. So he's going to set them up like this. And then... Something like that. On the fourth scramble, Sean had a pretty lucky block here, so he's going to try and look at as far as possible into the solve. 
So he's got this block, he's got this pair, and he's going to look for his second block edge, which is over here, and probably some second block pairs. So what he does here is he first solves these two with this block. Then he's going to solve this one. And here he decides to do something pretty interesting. Um, he solves these two instead of these two, uh, which makes sense, always solving in the back. And he could have probably canceled here, but he did it like this. And he has CMLL. And then EO. And here he's going to want to solve his UL and UR. So he's going to do that like this. Just like that. And then he's just going to finish off the solve. For the last solve, Sean does the red-white block here. So the pieces are here and here. So he's going to start off by solving this one into the back just like that. And then he's got these two set up. But he solves them like this to have this one set up. And now he's got these two solving in the back and then solving these two in the front. CMLL, and now EO, and then here he saw for his U, R, and U, L um, that he didn't want to have this one here, so he went with this one because he saw that this orange yellow would be the one that he needs to solve over here, and so then he solved these. Oops. And then he's finished the solve. So that's about it for my breakdown of Sean Patrick Villanueva's 5.98 Asian record average Rue world record. The Rue Evolution is here. This is Laser Monkey. Out. So this was my first experience with Rue. And if you guys are thinking about learning Rue, definitely let me know in the comments. I'm thinking about giving it a shot.